baby. Oh, good. Yes, yes, oh, yes, Rogers. Hold Help on. me. We gotta get her to the hospital. Oh, come on. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. I'll drive him. Oh. Easy, easy. <sighs> You know what? Why don't you just forget about the hospital plans for now? He's got a new addition of his own to worry about, right? I mean, the baby that, that he and Vanessa are expecting. Uh, it's coming soon, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, I know that face. <sighs> that face is the same face that you had when we were expecting Mara. You know, that, that look of intense joy mixed with absolute terror. It's all at the same time. It's a very exciting time, and you are going to be... A fabulous yes, dad. you are. Uh, you're so good with Peter, Mara, and Shane. Love you to death. They love their Uncle Matt. Yeah. Jenna told me it's going to be a little girl. What? You, you and Vanessa, you're having a girl, right? Oh, yeah. Any names picked yeah. out yet? Uh, no, no. Uh, we, you know, have some ideas, but nothing definite. Well, you know, fathers and their daughters, that's a very special relationship. It is. <laughs> Except that little girls do have a tendency to wrap their daddies around their little pinkies. Of course, oh, I wouldn't yes. know anything about that because oh, I never did with Pop. No, no. Just because all you got to do is blink your eyelashes at Hawk and he'll do whatever you ask him to do. Okay, Mr. Nosy Expert, why don't you explain I, to I Matt the finer points of the I think I'll do that. Excuse me. Yeah, let me tell you. No, no, no. This is, this is very important. Now, the first, the rule of thumb with girls is this. You can never win an argument. Every time I get into it with Mara, I know this to be true. It, it's a done deal. she's such a good talker. Gee, I wonder where she gets that. Oh! <laughs> uh, look, guys, you know, I, I really got to get going here. Oh, oh, Matt, before you go, um, I wanted to ask about a baby shower for Vanessa. I'd, I'd really love to give her one, and, unless, of course, somebody's already doing that. I, I, I don't know, Reva. I really don't well, know Can you find out? About... Because all your friends and family would love to make sure that that little bundle of joy has everything it absolutely needs. Such an exciting time. It really is. <laughs> That would be the surprise part of my chicken. So I need to answer that. Uh, Matt, you want to stay for dinner? There's plenty, really. No. Uh, okay. No, thanks. I, I, okay. I really have to be someplace. Listen, I, I, I know you want to get home to Vanessa, but just stick around a few minutes longer, okay? I really want your input on this hospital thing. Josh. The, the dedication is, is coming up. It's about the same time Vanessa's due, as a matter of fact. In fact, how would this be? You and Vanessa go to the hospital for the dedication. You come home with a baby. Wouldn't that be something? No, it wouldn't, Josh. Vanessa may not even be alive then. Let's get our fetal monitor, EKG, BP, uh, and a bag of D5 ringers right away. Uh, also on an ultrasound. Let's get some help here. Yeah. Oh. So, this is not bad news, all right? The baby's coming. What? What? Vanessa, you're in labor. No! Oh, no! Oh, you've got to stop it! Stop it! About to stop? Stop you, what? Listen, you've got to stop this labor from progressing. You've, you've got to stop it from going any further. Vanessa, you're having major contractions. No, no, no. It, it, it's just Braxton Hicks. I'm no, no, sure no. That... This baby is coming, Vanessa, and I cannot stop it. Do you understand? Yes, you can. Oh. Mm. Rick, it. you can give me some kind of drugs. I, can't I know do that. they Vanessa, exist. Vanessa, you, getting, you... listen, listen to me. Getting upset like this is not going to help you or this little girl. I'm just getting Your upset because you're not spiking. listening to me. Please. What? You've got to help me. She's not ready to be born. Vanessa, anything I give you because of your medical condition would put this baby at risk. It would put you at risk. I don't care. I want you to save her life. I want you to stop this labor now. I can't believe all this is happening. Reva and I, we both thought uh, Vanessa was in remission. Yeah, well, that's what she wanted everyone to think. That way she could carry this baby to term. So she knew she was ill. She was lying about her real condition. And all the doctors have told her the same thing, that if she tried to carry this child, that it could put stress on her body and cause a recurrence of her illness, and that is, in fact, what has happened. They want her to have a C-section. As soon as possible. But she won't listen to them. She won't listen to me. She won't listen to anybody. It's almost like she's like she's defiant. Like anytime somebody wants to try to help her, she just gets even more defiant. I, you know, I don't want to make this woman do something that she doesn't want to do. I love her. I, but I don't know what else to do. I mean, if she continues to carry this baby, it could kill her. Sounds like this lawsuit business is killing you. Yeah. Well, you know. I don't know anything about Vanessa's condition. I don't even know what to say about that, but... 
But if you're already second guessing this lawsuit, and Vanessa really feels that what she's doing is right, who's to say what's right and wrong in this case? You really think I should go with her on this? I think this would be a good time to believe in your wife. To trust her when she says everything's going to work out okay. I mean, you believed in her in the past, right? Why stop now? What do we got? VP's 201 over 108. All right, piggy bag a bag of D5 with 40 grams of meg sulfate. We're in at two grams per hour, okay? <sighs> Vanessa, listen to me. All right, we're going to try to get your blood pressure down, but I need your help, all right? <sighs> I need your help. I need you to try to stay calm. Can you do that? Yeah, I can't stay calm because you're not paying any attention to what I want, Rick. You need to listen to your body, and what your body wants to do right now is have this baby. No, no, no. It's too early for her. You're right. It's dangerous. You're right. A natural delivery would be dangerous with your medical condition, but I can perform an emergency C-section, no. Vanessa. That's the way to go. No. Vanessa, listen to me. No. Listen to me. No. Your blood pressure is not stabilizing. Do you understand? If I don't get this baby out of you, you might not make it, and I'm not willing to take that risk with your life. I am not going to do that. I am not willing to take any risks with her life. If she is born now, she might not survive. Or she might have serious medical problems. Oh, Rick, please. Breathe, oh, breathe. Please help me. Sorry, Dr. Bauer. We've been calling around, but we can't find Matt Rubin anywhere. Uh, Josh, it's Rick Bauer. Hi, Rick. What can I do for you? I'm, I'm trying to track down Matt Reardon. You know where he is by any chance? As a matter of fact, I do. You're in luck. He's right here with me. Hold on for one second. It's uh, Rick Bauer for you. I'll be right back. Uh, Rick? Matt, thank God. I've been looking all over for you. What is it? I'm at the hospital, Matt. Uh, Vanessa was brought in a little while ago. You need to get here right away. I is she all right? What's wrong? Matt, the baby's coming. She's in there with Ricky's examining her. Probably shouldn't go in yet. I told you everything would be okay. What's wrong? What's, what's going on? She uh, was in labor. Labor? She um, came in here hypertensive with major contractions, and then they just, they stopped. I've never seen anything like it. It's almost as if uh, Vanessa willed it to stop. I can't believe it. Neither can I, but it happened. Her BP's back to normal. In fact, she's doing much better now than she uh, was when she came in. Look, if you came here to talk to me about your court order, you can just turn around look, look, and Look, that's not why I'm here, Vanessa. I don't want to talk about anything. All I want is v to Vanessa. Go home. You think you're doing? You're I'm not going, going anywhere. Home. No, yes, you're I not. Am. I'm you're gonna you stay overnight for observation. I talked to Dr. Sedwick and she agrees with me. Vanessa, just listen to your doctors, will you please? Vanessa, you need bed rest. I know I do. At home. That's Well, this I'm hospital going. is not gonna discharge you. And if you want to leave, you're gonna have to sign against a medical advice form. That's fine. I'll sign any form you want me to sign, but I'm going home. Excuse Vanessa, me. Vanessa. <sighs> Uh, get the doctor, please. Somebody help me. Please get the doctor. 